Little lunge cat back, core rotation at the same time. Coordination, balance, little strength. So I'm staying on the same side. As I lunge back, I'm rotating. Draw that belly button in. Keep that torso tall. Shoulders relaxed. Woo! <laughs> little balance work there. I can feel the challenge coming right there. I'm feeling that right leg really warm up, that quad, that glute. Let's do two more. We're going to go straight to the other side. So I'm lunging. Oh, I got to find my rhythm on this side. Yep. Rotate as I lunge. Do you see that? As I step it back, I rotate. You've got a plank variation after this. You will see other lunges today. You're going to have a high plank and then a low plank. So you may want to, as we transition, grab your mat, step, and rotate. Let's do two more. Awesome. Find that mat. All right, y'all. We're going to walk it into a pike. We're going to walk it back out. We've got two knees in. Walk it in to a pike. Walk it back out to a plank. Two knees in from high plank. Walk it in, walk it out, two knees in. No repeats. This is your one and only shot at this plank variation. Of course, you can come back to it if you need it or you really love it, but it's only programmed this one time. Walk it in, walk it out. Knee in, knee in. We're going one more time all the way through that pipe. Bring those knees in. We're going to drop down to a low plank on the side. Here's what we're going to do, a side star plank. We're going to rotate. Side star plank. We're going to rotate. Side leg lift. Yes, how are we doing? If you need to, when you rotate, you can use that bottom leg for support. Then you can rotate to the other side, drop a knee for support. It is okay. You find the version that works best for you, and you do it well. All good. I've got one more on each side. Awesome, guys. We're going to flip it over on our back. Again, with some core work, but adding upper and lower body. So we're going to crunch it all the way up. We're going to do a little roll up, lift, and tap. So left arm, left toe touches that right fingertip. So opposite toe, opposite fingertips with the option to lift that booty up off the mat. You see that? Alternating sides. Some lower body work. 
I've got one more here. Bring it all the way up, guys. You've got a double squat to a curtsy. A double squat to the other side, curtsy. Double squat, curtsy. I want you to stay low the whole time. Woo! You've got two lower body moves in a row. Working all sides of those legs. Front, back, glutes, quads, hamstrings. Getting the little calves in here. How are we doing? I hope everyone is warmed up and feeling good. You don't have a ton more of this block with just body weight. Now as we go, if there's anything you need to do with that equipment, of course that's okay. You've got two more. You've got one more. All right, we've got windmill lunges. So we're gonna lean in to one side, bring it up, lean into the other side. Big arms, keeping that heart rate up. Big arms, a little lateral lunge push. Coming center, push those hips back, big arms, center. Woo. Draw that navel in, keep that head above your heart. Big windmill lunges, side to side. We're going back to two planks after this. You won't even notice that they're planks. One more each side. All right, bring it down to a plank. Looks like this. I'm gonna step up, up, reach it up and over. Step it back. Up, up, low impact burpee, yes. Out and in, reach those arms up. Out and in, reach it up. How are you doing? Out, out, in, in. We are gonna have push-ups after this, a variety of push-ups. So if you want to come up, take a break from those wrists, you can come down to reach those arms up. You can walk those feet like we're doing from plank. You have options. Let's do one more full set. All right, I'm gonna take these push-ups on my knees because that's where I am. Y'all know this. We're going all the way down and halfway up. All the way down, all the way up. So all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. Now you may be able to take these on your toes, which is so awesome. I am not there today. I'm gonna take the push-up variation from my knees. All the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. Oh, it feels good to move, doesn't it? Let's do one more full set and we're gonna move on. Stretch it out, grab a sip of water, find your gliders. Wash cloths if you don't have gliders. Hopefully you have a smooth surface. If you don't, everything can be modified, I promise. All right, y'all, right here. We're gonna start with two gliders. Go to one on each side, then you've got another plank, all right. We're getting after it right here, side to side. So I'm using my washcloth gliders, whatever that equipment is for you, to slide side to side. So what if you don't have those? What if you're not on a slick surface? It's fine, it's fine. Find something that works for you. Now, can you get low enough to 
touch the ground. You're only seeing this once. See what you can do. Head stays above the heart.
but add light weights, and then we'll get rid of the gliders. All right, you need one glider and one light weight. All right, so I'm gonna, I've got it in my right hand, glider on my right foot. I'm gonna glide, row and pull in, out and curl. Glide, row and pull in, glide and curl. So basically that leg is moving the whole time. The arm changes what it's doing. Row at the top, curl at the top. Draw that belly button in. You know we're gonna go to the other side, right? This is a row right here. Take that elbow straight back. How's that standing leg? You should be feeling it. Oh, I hope I'm not the only one sweating. One more right here, guys. Get ready, we're going to the other side. Lunge, row with a pull in, back out and curl. Lunge, row, pull in, out with a curl. Even though these are light, 
Maybe dropping one of them will really help you find a good form here. Let's do four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. All right. Keep those light weights handy. We transition to those. You can set those gliders aside. Let's grab a sip of water before we go to this next block with primarily light weights.
turning to the side for an advanced clamshell modification. So you can stay right here for a clamshell, or we're gonna add a hip raise, or we're gonna add a hip raise and hit. Hip raise and hit. So I've got upper body, I've got core, I've got a little bit of lower body, and I can feel that I'm getting that heart rate back up with that big range of motion. You can get rid of that weight. Does that help you? Inner and outer thigh, glutes. Four, three, two, and the other side. Same thing, guys. Find your first option, your second option, add that oblique lift, that hip lift, your third option to lift and hip. Squeeze through those thighs. I am feeling this for you. And guys, listen, we're gonna end with two moves. They're single sides. So we're gonna do right, left, right, left. Actually, I think we're gonna do right, right, left, left. Standing, full body. It's good, it's good. We're moving. Woo! These are sneaky, huh? These are challenging. You've got four, three, Two, and one. Awesome, bring it all the way up. A stationary lunge with both weights. So I'm gonna hold my left weight here. My left leg is forward. Stationary lunge. I'm gonna lunge. When I come up, I'm gonna reach across. Reach across. Stationary lunge and reach. Oh, hello, balance work. On my way went up. I'm jabbing across, yes? that knee behind your toe. Also a little bit harder than it looks, yeah? You've got four. Reach. Three, two, one or both weights in your right hand standing crunches. So we are almost done with our lightweight block. We're going to do both of these moves on the other side. So I've come down to one weight. Of course, you can have no weight. That's also an option. You've got five, four, three. Right foot steps forward, right arm stays here. We're gonna lunge, and on the way up, punch left. So again, we have to readjust, get back to some balance here that's gonna work for all that belly button in. Three, two, 
take it up. One or both weights or no weights. Right here, standing crunches. Now that's the same side, just like the first time we did it. The same side, but it's just jabbing. Same oblique that was engaged. Woo! Can you all see this? I am sweating. I love it. One or no weights, two weights, one weight, you have lots of options. You've got four, three, two, and one. I need some water. You need to find your heavy weight. We're moving on. Moving on. Nice little mixed bag today, yeah? Your last couple moves. We will incorporate the band as an option. So you may just want to have that handy, but to start, heavy weights only. And we're starting in a kneeling position. So I've got both of my heavy weights handy. I'm gonna start right here with a little wood chop. I'm gonna stay for this whole minute on one side. And then I'm going to do something else, and then we'll go to the other side. So, my shoulders are away from my ears, my belly button is pulled in, my chest is open, my shoulders are relaxed. I'm crossing my midline here. Full upper body and core work, a little bit of heart rate. Doing okay. This is the only time you're going to do this on this side. We've got two more. I need you to find your other weight before we go to that other side. You're going to need two upright rows and a push up. You can pop it out to a push up. You can come down to your knees, right? You can set those weights down, pop or walk it out to a push up. Two upright rows. Out to a push up. Nice little combo move. Getting that core involved always. We're going to do the other side foot chop after these, guys. Let's do one more full round of upright row. So push up. Now your other side. So now my left foot is forward, the weight is down by my right hip. And I cross the midline here. Yes. For some reason, this knee always hurts more on the floor, on the kneeling stuff. Weird body things, yes. Draw your belly button in. Keep those arms long and strong.
Two more on this side, we'll switch. Whoa, those lunges, other side. Same thing, bicep curl. It's a small little lunge pick up. Strong curl. After this is that renegade row. We're going to add some core bonus work, lower body bonus work to it. You've got two more curl and lunge presses. You've got more biceps in this circuit coming. Quite a few actually. All right. From your high plank, we've got a renegade row each side. We're going to step up each side. So row, row, pull that belly button in, get that booty down. Step, step. Can you take your rows from a modified plank on your knees? Of course you can. Then you can step up from your knee, or you can do rows on your knees, then come up and step up from plank. You have so many options. You can do this with or without weights. Oh, I'm dripping, I need to towel. All right. One more full set, guys, all the way through, wherever you are. All right, standing it all the way up. Come with one weight. I'm starting with my right arm. Woo! Are you warm? You've got one row, one snatch overhead. One row, one snatch up and overhead. So I programmed this with heavy weights. If you need to modify, to a different weight selection, that's fine. When we go to the other side, y'all know I'm not going overhead with this heavy weight. My left shoulder is not quite there yet. It's better, but it's not all the way there. So that's just an invitation to you. You modify as you need, anytime you need. You don't have to wait on an injury. Please. Two more. Awesome. Other side. You row. You snatch. Row. Snatch. Overhead. One row. Overhead. Got it? Squeeze through that shoulder blade. Lean with that elbow. Straight back. All right. Now I'm going to use some weight, but I'm not going to go overhead. I just I don't want to miss out totally on this strain training. We've got two more full sets. All right, y'all, if you have that band, we're going to transition to three moves with the band. The first one is just a deadlift. Okay, just a deadlift, lower body only. So I've got that band, I'm gonna press out a little bit. I'm gonna have my heavy weight into that deadlift. Then we'll do some squats and then some more curls. All right guys, deadlift. Press those hips back. What if you don't have a band? It's okay. Do what you can with what you've got. You can do this whole class with just body weight if, you have, if that's all you have. You are heavy in your heels. Your legs are long, but your knees are soft. You're going to squeeze right under your seat. Y'all are awesome. Back is nice and flat. 
down. Your range of motion may be just under your knees and back up. That's okay. You take what works for you safely today and you work with that and you do your best. If you do have that band, press against it right there. You feel that? You've got two more. You've got one more. Good. You're going to squat it out right here. You're going to squat, curl and press one side, squat, curl and press the other side. Just one squat. Now squat, curl, press right. Squat, curl and press left. You might be going overhead. Squat, squat, curl and press right. Squat, curl, and press left. Awesome. Squat. Squat, curl, and press. Squat, curl, and press. Nice work, y'all. Again, two more times through. One more full time through. Squat. Squat, curl, and press right. Squat, left side. Awesome. Now we're gonna march with that band. We're gonna march and do a little hammer curl to finish this circuit. Then we're gonna get some water. We're gonna move on to our banded circuit. I think you're gonna need your light weights for this next one. I'll confirm that. Can you give me a bigger march? The heart rate up. Woo! All right, give me 10 more seconds here. We're going to move on. Keep that band right where it is if you can. Four, three, two. Y'all, I am sweating. Okay. All right, we're going to start, of course, with the band right here on our thighs. Okay. Yeah. A lot of lower body. A lot of lower body. Okay, and then you're gonna need your light weights at the very end. All right, so we're finishing with some heart rate, lower body, and a lot of floor in this segment. All right, you've got about 10 minutes left to work, just flying by. All right, we're gonna do big, fast skater presses. Skate, skate. Now, in the spirit, of this being low impact, these aren't hops. These are big steps. I'm using my arms for range of motion. Yes, bigger range of motion, getting that heart rate up. This is the last block for today, but I am not done working. In fact, there's some really good burnout stuff. Yeah, you know there is in this block, particularly lower body and some good core stuff. Big step. Can you cover some ground? Tap it back. Tap it back. You're going, ooh, you're going to a plank after this. You've got four more. Three, two, stay low. All right, you've got to launch your plank. We've done launch your plank. Have we done them with a band? I don't think so. High plank. Launch your plank. Pressing back. This is like if a squat and a plank had a baby. Today, it's a banded squat and a plank. Had a little baby. You're coming all the way back up. To a nice strong high plank. Press through those heels. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those quads. Oh man, this feels good. Strong upper body. Strong core. Strong legs. Give me four more right here, please. Four. Three. All fours while you're here. Right leg extends, lift and lower. Lift, lower, lift and lower. 
lift, lower, lift, lower. Squeeze, squeeze. Good, I've got a long leg to start.
six, five, get that booty down, four, three, carefully walk it back up. So now my right foot's gonna be forward. I've got my offset squat. As I lift that left leg, I'm gonna do a little front raise. A little combo move here. Squat, lift and raise.
keep moving. Thank you for joining. Have a great day.